Welcome to JDM Trivia number 2. Last week's teaser was, what do these cars have in common? As you have read in the intro screen, the answer is ridiculously long car names. For some time now, I've been pondering about ridiculously long car names for the 1980s and 1990s JDM cars. And the best one ever is Toyota Celica Elegant Sports version. Now what is that supposed to mean? Elegant Sports? Well, if I Google for that, I get the most hits on Golf. So does the Toyota Celica Elegant Sports version actually mean Toyota Celica Volkswagen Golf version? Phew. Enough joking around. You probably demanded some more detailed information right now. Well, I gathered some data from various Japanese car manufacturers and made a potential selection of models, looked up their brochures and wrote down the names as advertised. What I did was probably not a very good scientific approach, but for a long shot this probably will do. And yeah, maybe I have left out two or three ridiculously long car names this way, but who cares? I have over 280 models already, so <laughs> what do you want? Anyway, as I'm a database guru, I kind of put everything into a database and made my calculations based on that. And this is probably what you have been waiting for. Why did I put those particular five cars in a teaser? Well, that's because they are the top five longest car names. So here we go from five to one. On five, the 1999 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, uh, sorry, Evolution 6, Tommy Mackinnon edition, a total of 53 characters long, and this is a special edition to celebrate the winning of four WRC championships. On 4, the 1988 Nissan Laurel 20th Anniversary Twin Cam Turbo Medalist. A total of 54 characters long. Yet another special edition to celebrate the 20th birthday of the Nissan Laurel. On 3, the 1986 Toyota Sprinter Treno Black Limited GT Apex Twin Cam 16. A total of 56 characters long. And another special edition, but this time not to celebrate anything. Just because Toyota thought a limited run of 400 Sprinter Tueno AE86s painted in Toyota Black Color Code 204 with gold and orange details was a great idea. Well it was. These cars are insanely rare and sought after at the moment. On number 2. The 1988 Nissan Leopard Ultima Grand Selection V30 Twin Cam Turbo. A total of 57 characters long and just 7 characters short of making it to number 1. Not much to say about this particular version except that it was, just like the name, top of the line of the second generation Leopards. On number 1, the 1987 Toyota Crown Super Saloon Extra 2400 Turbo Diesel Ceramics Power. Winning with a lead of 7 characters, this name is actually 64 characters long. Toyota must have lost a lot of money on this car. They were losing all their profit on the lengthy badges. A honorable mention, uh, the Nissan Leopard 870 Ultima 3.0 V6 Twin Cam Intelligent Adult Coupe. A total of 65 characters long would have uh, definitely beaten the crown. And I wrote a blog article on this car a very long time ago and it was also how I started to search for a longer name than this one. However, as the rules are that the name has to be in the catalog, I have to ditch this one. Nissan never sold Nissan Leopard 870 Ultima 3.0 V6 Twin Cam Intelligent Adult Coupe. Where did that name come from then? Well, I found out that there was actually an accessories package from the Nissan for the Leopard. And this included a chrome piece that mounts around the grill and on the bonnet and that is labeled as the 870 Ultima. Also, the Leopard had a catchphrase, Intelligent Adult Coupe. I, I, I have no clue what they were thinking back in, in the 80s, but well, naturally this was included in accessories package as well. So officially, the car is a Nissan Leopard Ultima 3.0 V6 Twin Cam with an 870 badge and an Intelligent Coupe branding. Also nice to mention is that the top 42 looks like this. And this is what the occurrences per number of characters look like. So now it's time for the teaser for next week. Who is this man and what does he have to do with Nissan?
Leave your guesses in the comments below. See you next week.